Welcome to the project demonstration of IoT based vehicle accident detection and rescue system. So here the main purpose of this project is so we have the accident sensor. This is the accident sensor whenever the vehicle tilts at a certain angle when it crosses that certain angle then it will inform to the uh, like uh, application through this ESP8266 Wi-Fi model. The intimation is has a two ways. One is live tracking continuously whether it's uh, made with an accident or not continuously we can send in the location along with the Google Maps link and whenever the uh, this vehicle made with an accident then the system will intimate that accident occurred uh, the message will be sent to that and we can get the live location over there also right so generally the main difference between this project and the previous version so previous version has a GSA module then we are going to get the only SMS alerts to the particular number but here when we have connected to this ESP8266 Wi-Fi module by calling this IP address continuously we can get the information of this vehicle from n number of devices and also we can intimate to the n number of devices also means in real time so when we place this kind of setup in a vehicle some another setup will be there that is IoT monitoring section continuously will get the location which we are going to see on this application now that will be monitored by the another server so whenever the vehicle meets an accident the server will extract the location of the particular vehicle and intimate to the nearby hospitals to uh, about this accident and uh, to rescue the persons as well as possible so here uh, for that purpose we are using the ESP8266 and accident sensor and to get the location from this GPS antenna this is a GPS antenna and GPS processor which will provide us a live location directly and the so-called status continuously displayed on this 16 by 2 LCD screen so all this interface to the microcontroller and coming to the interfacing connections B0 is connected to this uh, GPS module and B1 for this ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and uh, B2 to B7 for this LCD screen A4 for this accident switch and this is the breadboard to distribute the 5 volts power supply throughout the input and output modules of our project. So from this one we are going to provide the 5 volts power supply by providing the 230 volts AC input to this adapter. So before demonstration, first of all go to hotspot settings of your phone, change the hotspot name to project 561H without any space, without any capital letter and uh, password should be 12345678 and APN should be 2.4 gigahertz. After this setting successfully done then we need to install one more two applications uh, that is uh, SSH client and network analyzer this is a network analyzer application available in the play store and this is the juice SSH client application after successfully install this now stay on the uh, hotspot settings there we get the zero device connected initially so when you on the power supply so it has to initialized and after this the LED will be on and off two times and after that one device is connected in this one right so after we switch on the kit then there will be a welcome message initially on the LCD screen and then after, after installation of the Wi-Fi module we can see one device is connected now go to the uh, SS uh, network analyzer application first right so go to the network analyzer application options LAN scan then do the scan error so when we scan there we get the two IP address one is your mobile phone another is the ESP and copy this address and uh, next go to juice SSH and in that manage connections plus and here we need to do the three settings one is the telnet type is telnet and IP address which we got from the network analyzer application and port number 8080 right on successfully done connect to this next time onwards directly you can come here because the IP address already entered here so this is the continuous streaming just when you click on this automatically it will uh, go to the Google Maps location and here when we are using the like uh, GPS it should have the uh, satellite vision then only it can provide us live location for that purpose we should place this kit under the sky view then only the GPS antenna will get the satellite vision based on the trial iteration method it will provide us the exact location in terms of PVT, the position, velocity and time. So that will be displayed on the LCD screen instead of 00, you will get the live location. So whenever the vehicle meet with an accident, as we get the threshold value of around 45 degrees of angle, so then the light will get switched on and the buzzer will get switched on and the same message will be sent to your mobile phone, accident alert. Right. So this 
now we are demonstration purpose we are using ssh client application real time the same will be done at the server end which is continuously monitoring the vehicles which are present in that region so whenever the vehicle met with an accident this alert message will be received by the server and it will intimate to the nearby hospitals or ambulances